Stone Foltz died in March 2021 after a night of being hazed at a former BGSU fraternity drinking a full handle of vodka himself. In those days that followed, the family had to make a decision about organ donation. Today, Stone's family is starting to meet and hear from some of the people who receive Stone's organs. And the Foltzes invited us to be a part of one of those meetings. Hi. Hello. Hi, Scott. Yes. Sherry. I'm going to give you a hug. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? Right. Sherry Foltz says her son Stone was 16 when he told her that he wanted to be an organ donor. She never imagined his gift of life would come just four years later. Corey, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I got Lisa. It sister. must be Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is just a part of Corey and Sherry Foltz's life now. It's how they make the connection, the life connection, to Stone. So we write letters in the beginning if we choose to, and we wrote them to all the recipients. Um, we don't know any information about them at that time. Um, basically giving, um, telling them we, we want them to reach out. Imagine being a parent, having to write a letter to the person getting your child's organs. Dear liver recipient, we are writing to you to share a little about our son. And after the criminal charges, after the trial, after announcing the start of the foundation in their son's name, and as sad as it is, this is the next chapter. But they want it to be a story of hope. To have our son's organs and someone else, it's just, and how many lives he saved, it's, it, it means the world to us Today to meet them. Yeah. Tracy Crop is with Life Connection, and the organization has guided the Foltzes through the organ donation process. What brings joy to a donor family is meeting one of their loved ones recipients and seeing them living life, being healthy, being happy. That's all they can ask for. Scott Harold is the recipient. He was near death when he got Stone's gift of life, his liver. But the recovering alcoholic and father of two has experienced what Life Connections of Ohio says is common, and that's feeling guilty about it all. There are so many times where you, it's that survivor guilt, and it's like, I really didn't deserve this because of how I lived my life and how I got here. Why is that? Why, why, do, they, why do they feel guilty? Um, because they're alive, and it's because their loved one has died. Even though we know that they didn't die to be a donor, but because they died, this miracle was able to happen and the gift of life was given. Life given before the Foltzes could even process the life they had lost. How long after, um, when did you have your surgery? Was I had it? mine on the 8th. 8th, okay, so next day, yeah. For the last year, Corey and Sherry have traveled, have speaking to college time. students as part of the I Am Stone Foltz Foundation. They've shared their hope of putting an end to hazing. The upperclassmen need to step up and take lead to eradicate the hazing. And their legal team has shared its desire to end Greek life on college campuses around the country. Hopefully the message this sends is that universities need to do a much better job. Stone's brother AJ is now a freshman in college. Never once did any of us think to this day we'd be sitting here meeting someone that has part of my brother, you know, it's just, it's going to be hard. I know for me, it's going to be hard trying not to like the teary eyes or anything, but it's just, I hope this isn't the last time that we get to meet someone that has part of Stone. The hole that was there is never going to go away, but it softens it. So being able to meet Scott today is huge. It, it, helps us positive-wise bury some of those sad moments. Words cannot express our gratitude to oh, Stone yeah. and the gift that we were able to have. Mm -hmm. When we think of the gift, it also comes with the sadness for your sure. family. So sure. please know that when we think of the happiness, you're in our heart as well. Thank you. We appreciate that. Sober for four years now, Scott tells the Foltzes he will never disrespect the gift of life he's been given. And for Sherry, Corey, 
AJ in Jersey, this is just the beginning. Stone's right kidney went to a teenage girl and his left to a preteen girl. Both lungs went to a man in his 50s. His corneas gave someone sight. His tissue donation helped more than 100. And though they've lost, they say through this process, it helps them feel as if they've gained something. Anyone that loses their child is always gonna feel the grieving process. But being able to see the positive, see the silver lining, see the light at the end of the tunnel is big. We were humbled to be asked to be a part of that. These meetings have to be agreed upon by both the donor family and the recipient, and it doesn't always happen. As far as Scott's health is concerned, he's not out of the woods just yet. The prognosis on his liver is good, but he's on a kidney waiting list. If you'd like to know more about the Stone Foltz Foundation, the I Am Stone Foltz Foundation, and organ donation, you can find a link to this story on our website, WTOL.com.